everyone, this is BattleBots Explained here, and I am here with Robot Champions. Now, Robot Champions is a game that um, I heard of a while ago, I saw a few other people playing it. It is a beautiful, beautiful game, it's very, very fun, very enjoyable. Now, as some of you may or may not know, I am a huge, huge fan of Robot Arena 2, and it was the first robot combat game that I ever played. However, shortly afterwards, I learned about this new game, Robot Champions, and I gave it a try. It is, I'm going to tell you guys, it's a very, very fun game. If you never played it, please go and uh, support them. Um, it would be wonderful, absolutely wonderful, to get this game to a completion in 2020. That's what they're trying to do right now. It will be wonderful if they're able to do that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try out some Robot Champions and play it for you guys today. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Hope you guys enjoy this, and uh, please uh, subscribe if you have not, and uh, please like this video if you like it. Okay, so, let's go right in. Okay, um, they must have added something since I last... Oh! Okay, it looks like they have added something. Okay, they did not have this map before when I last played it, or this one. I'm actually kind of curious, because I know that these two panels here on the floor are flippers, but I don't know what these two are. I guess I'll... No, I'm going to play on that one first. Okay, let's do first, two, three. I'm just going to play against the AI because my internet is not very good. Okay, so, ooh, so they have added some bots. They've added Whirlwind, which is a uh, full-body ring spinner. It looks very, very good, and invertible, so that's going to be helpful. Uh, Stampede, now, Stampede, he's been here for a while. I already know him. Um, they have uh, done a few things with his flipper, though. Originally... From what I've heard of, it was extremely overpowered, and then they uh, neutered his flipper a little bit, and then they buffed it a little bit, and now it's just perfect. As long as you go with the perk for more damage, he's absolutely incredible. Uh, Bugsy. This thing is so much better than the other hammer bot in the game, in my opinion. It has a wedge that can actually get under someone. Its hammer is extremely fast. Yeah, Bugsy's a very good bot in this game. It's just... Me personally, hammers are not my style, so I probably won't use him. Oh, okay. I'll probably use Bugsy at least once, but I'm probably not going to use him very much. Halo. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Vertical spinners all the way. <laughs> um, of course, you guys know Titan. Titan, the uh, bot that I plan to uh, actually possibly build one day if I ever get into a tournament. I would compete with Titan, which is a vertical spinner. And that's it. It's just a box bot with a vertical spinner. The Lego version's competed on my channel a few times by now, so, um, yeah, you guys know about Titan. Halo is a very good bot in this game, as long as you're able to spin up to full speed. Because if you can't spin up to full speed, then you're not going to be able to do very much damage from what I've seen. But once he's up to full speed, he's incredibly dangerous. Cleaver Boy, kind of like Tombstone, or Mo or a couple different other bots similar to it. It's pretty good in this game, especially if you drive it like Ray Billings does. And I'll demonstrate that very shortly, actually. Let's see, Teratops. This is my favorite bot in the entire game. I absolutely very much enjoy playing as Teratops. It's just a very strong, very powerful wedge bot with these very unique Triceratops like spikes in the top, so cannot wait to play with him some. Gigahertz is my least favorite bot. Actually, that's not true. Gigahertz and Wartus. Those are the two of my least favorite bots in the game. Not that they're bad, not that they can not that you can't win with them. I have won fights with both of them. It's just they're certainly not my style. I don't like Gigahertz mainly because Bug Bugsy is here now and he's so much more powerful, his hammer swings way faster. And also Gigahertz it's kind of a long bot, and it's very, very easy to, for an opponent to get to your side, so I don't like that at all. And as for Wartus, I just think it's kind of odd. I think it's a very, very strange design to just have the head just, boop, just pop out and attack. I just think Wartus is odd. So, okay. So those are the bots in the game right now. They're definitely going to add more in the future. So I will definitely stick around, and I'll... Uh, probably do another of these gameplay videos as soon as they update the game again. Now I'm going to probably do them anyway, but I'm especially going to do them for you guys once they update the game. So I'm going to start out with, actually with Cleaver Boy, just to uh, demonstrate what I was telling you guys before about the Tombstone Maneuver. Now, not, now, some people in the Robot Combat community know about this, but a lot of them don't. So I'm going to 
why not? I'm gonna look like Tombstone. And let's take the antenna off, because no need for those. Okay, we're going to go with Cleaver Boy versus Stampede. I'm gonna go on a hard difficulty. I'm gonna go on hard difficulty just to show you guys how this works. And, or just to demonstrate. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna go on to this, uh, new arena that I have never been on. This is not a good idea. Okay, so here I am. I am not going to try all those buttons. I'm just going to get the blade up to speed. There we go. Now, as you guys see what I did there, I made sure... Here we go again. What I'm doing here is I'm going to let him catch up to me, and then I'm going to turn around in the last second. There's a big reason why you do that. And why, or specifically why Ray Billings does that. The reason being that, um... You'll be able to get to your opponent's sides much better. Take uh, Stampede here, for example. His front is pretty decently well armored. However, his sides are kind of exposed. So as soon as I get to his side, then I'm much more capable of doing damage to him. Now, what this does is it tricks him into Ogans. <laughs> that did not go very well. Um, ideally, that maneuver would trick him into going for me. And then like that, I can just swing around and do a whole bunch of damage to him. Now, why exactly I wouldn't want to go at him just with the blade first all the time? Well, that's how horizontal spinners die, to be honest, when they hit a wedge too many times just head on. So what I'm trying to do is I'm basically being Ray Billings right now, and not just in the fact that my horizontal spinner cleaver boy is colored this way. Also, because, well, I am trying to use the same tactic Ray Billings does about spinning around, and... Trust me, guys, it has worked. It has worked for me in Robot Arena 2. It just worked for me now in Robot Champions, as you can see. And it's worked for me in the past, too. So, that's a very, very good maneuver. And uh, for any of you out there who may be listening that actually do compete in, say, Antway tournaments or something... Oh, those were pits. I did not know that. Okay, but uh, if any of you guys are listening who actually compete in Antway tournaments or something similar with a horizontal spinner and you do not know that trick, then I strongly suggest that you start doing that because that's one of Ray Billings' secrets. Okay, so here I am trying to take out George, it's just one of the AI names. You know, it's actually kind of odd to me about how the developers decided to name the uh, AI bots. Because <laughs> they gave them, I mean, nice names, but just kind of, you know, generic, kind of boring na names. And I'm not at all trying to insult anyone listening. I I have no problem at all with the name George, it's just, I'm fighting a combat robot, <laughs> and his name is George. I don't know why I think that's so funny, but I do. <laughs> anyway, I'm doing a whole bunch of damage to George right now, he is, now keep in mind guys, I put George here on the hard difficulty. I did not put it on easy or anything, and I am absolutely shredding him right now. <laughs> He's got one wheel left on that side. That's what I'm going to try to go for first. Get him disabled. There we go. Now, he's not going anywhere. Ooh. Wait a second. How in the how in the world is George actually following me? He has got he's got no wheels on that side. <laughs> how is George How is he actually still still moving and chasing me? You know, I actually heard a story from Ray Billings a while ago. I think it was like 2012 or 2013. Robo games, I think. He was talking about that maxim of a uh, sewer snake, and he said how that you can cut all of his wheels off except one, and he'll still come after you. Yeah, that's exactly what it reminded me of. <laughs> what uh, what uh, George here did, what Stampede did. Okay, come at me. There we go. Using that little spinning trick is really, really good to get opponents to. There we go. To get opponents into a position where they're accidentally exposing their weak points, trying to get to you. And that's uh, one big thing that I've noticed that uh, Ray Billings takes advantage of all the time. Because whenever you see a Tombstone bot and you have a wedge or a flipper, you just want to go right at him. Well, this is what happens when you go right at him. Or at least that's what can happen, and that's what can happen if you're a good enough driver. Or, if you're, or at the very least, if you're quick enough. You can just turn around at the last second and get a pretty decent hit. I turned a little bit too late that time, so I got flipped, but... Thank goodness, though, that uh, my fake tombstone here is very, very much invertible. Also, I can definitely understand a couple of different design decisions that the uh, 
wait a second, why in the world, <laughs> why in the world is my little whirlwind symbol kind of diagonal at this point? That's weird. But, um, I do understand why the Robot Champions developers, um, made Cleaver Boy the way he is, though. With four wheels? Oh my goodness. I understand why they made him that way, because if they gave him only two wheels like Tombstone, he would be way overpowered. You see, what get, makes Cleaver Boy balanced in this game is that, oh my goodness, is that he does have an exposed side with those four wheels. Whereas with Tombstone, it's much, much easier and quicker for him to spin around quickly. Whereas with Cleaver Boy, it takes a little bit more time. So he has more of a weakness, so therefore it balances him out more. And also, of course, I'm driving him, in which case, Cleaver Boy is extremely unbalanced. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about just in the whole gameplay about him being overpowered or anything. I'm talking about I'm literally flying all over the place right now. Um, also, at least now I know that those uh, red spots on the floor are pits. I did not. I have never played this map before. I have no idea what this place is. Ooh, I actually have a chance to end this if he doesn't get counted out. And he has one wheel left. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here, George. Come here, Georgie. Oh, no. <laughs> Almost got flipped, and he got flipped. <laughs> oh, neither of us are driving very well. <laughs> oh, poor George. There we go. Knockout. Knocked him out three times. That was pretty good. If I do say so myself. Just gonna do a little victory dance. Okay, well that went extremely well for me. And also, I actually kind of like that new map. I'm gonna try on a different map though. Um, let's see. I've seen all of these. They're all pretty good. Okay, for the next fight, I'm gonna go to probably my favorite one of all of them. It's this one. Now, the reason it's my favorite is because if you have a, a good control bot, like say uh, Terratops, you can take the opponent to all four corners <laughs> where the flippers are, and you can just launch them all over the place. So let's do that. Let's go with Teratops, yes. And let's see, what color should I be? I'm going to be white Teratops, just so I can see myself better against the background in this particular area. And also with Teratops, um, out of these, I would normally go with more defense, but this time I'm... I'm going to try not to go up against somebody who has a powerful weapon, so I'm going to go with speed. And let's see, who should I go after? Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, I'm actually going to put defense up more, and I'm going to go up against Whirlwind. Because I wanted to just show you guys that I'm actually pretty decent when it comes to driving in these, in these different uh, things. Now... I'm not sure if I have already uh, posted my uh, Robot Arena 2 video by now, I probably will have, but if you guys have seen that, then you'll probably know I'm not the world's worst driver, I'm actually pretty good. So, time to see how I do against Whirlwind here. Okay, just gotta line up the wedge in just the right way, and he's on the flipper, there we go. It's a very good place to start, kinda jammed up his spinner, and I'm using those spikes which by the way, Teratops is basically a... <laughs> just look at poor Dave here, this uh, whirlwind Dave. He's just getting thrown all over the place. Now, I kind of consider... Okay, okay, we won round one, that's good. I personally consider Teratops kind of a front hinge flipper style. Because when you think about it, that's exactly what it is. It's a wedge-shaped bot with the spikes that come out. Kind of like a front hinge flipper to uh, to topple someone over. So, Teratops is really a front hinge flipper in this game. Not sure if you guys have noticed that or not, but that's exactly what he is. At least in terms of uh, effectiveness. Okay. Come on, Dave. Got underneath him, got underneath him. See? That is the type of... <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious to see the full body spinner just get thrown all over the place. By the way, Robot Champions Developers Prospect Games, you did a fantastic job on all these models for the robots. They're absolutely beautiful. Your designs are good overall, besides Wardus. I don't kind of like Wardus all that much, but say like uh, Whirlwind there and uh, Teratops, Cleaver Boy, Halo. These are some really good designs, and I kind of wish that someone would actually make them in real life because some of them are pretty good. And yes, I'm aware that bots like Cleaver Boy have. Oh my. <laughs> I understand that robots like Cleaver Boy have existed with robots like, say, Mo, and uh, if you take two wheels off Tombstone. But. No one's made 
something like, for instance, Teratops. I've never seen a robot with the same design as Teratops, where it's a wedge and then the spikes come vertically like a flipper like that. That's actually kind of a unique design, in my opinion. So, yeah, guys, um, Prospect Games, very, very good job on Teratops, very good job on this whole game. And I have already <laughs> won three rounds against a full body spinner on hard difficulty. Now, I'm not, I don't want to brag, guys, but I actually kind of think I'm a pretty decent driver. Especially if you give me something like a wedge or something. Now, okay, that was a pretty good fight. Now, um, Teratops is probably the easiest one for me to drive just because of how fast it is and because the wedge is low. I think I'm going to challenge myself, actually, for this uh, last fight. I'm going to do one more fight. I'm going to challenge myself a little bit. I'm going to go to Japanese rooftops. And I'm actually going to be Stampede. Now, I'm going to be Stampede, and when, and, and, and when I said that uh, Stampede is going to be a challenge for me, it's because he's, he may be low to the ground, but his flipper is not all that powerful unless you crank it up to the uh, more damage perk like this. That's when Stampede becomes more powerful. Now, as for who I'm going to go up against, I'm probably going to regret this big time, but I'm going to try to go up against Halo. I'm going to go up against uh, Orange Halo, because why not? Put him on hard difficulty, and, uh, yeah, get rid of antennas. Okay, guys, I do not know if I'm gonna win or lose this. Um, I guarantee if I was driving Halo, uh, Stampede here would be absolutely toast. But, because I'm driving Stampede, I think I kind of have a chance, as long as I don't give Halo a chance to do anything. And I've already failed to do that. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, there we go. Just have to get at him from the sides, and... There we go, throw, start throwing him in there. I'm going to push the button. Now those spinners are going to be going much, much faster. <laughs> yes, use the floor pistons. They're kind of similar to the pistons I have in my arena now, except they're, except these pistons are vertical. Okay, I was talking about my uh, Lego Battle Bots arena. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. Definitely beat Halo, beat Halo there. Oh, sorry, I beat Bob. So I didn't mean to didn't mean to insult you, Bob. I was just I didn't I was too busy trying to actually win the fight and defeat you to actually notice your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not really that sorry. Okay, let's see. Also, the problem about Stampede's flipper is it ta it takes forever to actually uh, to go back down once you fire it. It takes a long time. <laughs> oh no. I need to be very very careful. See, this is when I get in trouble. As soon as Halo is up to speed is when you're in trouble, no matter which bot that you have. As long as you can jam him up, kind of like Tombstone or something similar to him, or just any kind of, just it's just a general spinner rule. Once you, there we go. Once you get the spinner stopped, that's... <laughs> I'm just flying all over the place. Once you get the spinner stopped, that's when you need to go in, because once the spinner's back up to speed... Yes, got him. Got him. Once the spinner's up to speed, then you have things to worry about. Okay, Stampede is looking very, very good so far. I just have to win one more fight. Now again, guys, I have this on hard difficulty. I'm not taking it easy on myself. I'm just going straight at them. And yes, I'm not going up against actual people, because like I said, our internet connection isn't exactly the most stable. But if I can somehow, by some miracle, get an internet match going, then I'll definitely um, try to show that to you guys. Okay. <laughs> I like this arena so much because if you're a control bot, or especially if you're a flipper, this is a wonderful uh, arena to be in. Because there are so many things for you to toss the opponent into. Halo just, I mean, sorry, Bob, Bob just drove right into that hazard. Like, he had absolutely no <laughs> problem going at it. He has no sense of self-preservation. <laughs> okay, Bob, come here. Come here, we're gonna go on a little trip. Where we're going? Well, we're going to the pit, or just the kind of ditch moat area that's around here. So yes, I won, so I'm just going to take a victory <laughs> victory jump. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Okay, well, so guys, that was uh, Robot Champions. I, I, I definitely know I had a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Again, Robot Champions is a free demo right now on Steam. I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you have not already. Uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, leave a like if you uh, like this video. 
And also, my uh, LEGO BattleBots tutorial book is now out on Amazon, How to Build the Best Bots, number one, functioning LEGO Combat Robots. I will link that in the description below. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.